Is one of the most successful theories in science missing something fundamental? Quantum physics has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It has brought us lasers, semiconductors, atomic clocks, and the very fabric of modern computing. But despite its overwhelming practical success, deep cracks remain in its foundations. And not everyone is convinced that we're heading in the right direction. Among the skeptics is Nobel laureate Gerard T. Hooft, one of the most respected figures in theoretical physics. He's not questioning quantum mechanics' ability to predict experimental outcomes. What he does question is whether the standard interpretation of quantum theory, with all its probabilistic wave functions, entanglement, and spooky non-locality, is the right or complete description of reality. In his view, something more fundamental may be missing. But what exactly is he concerned about? The standard quantum framework tells us that particles do not have definite positions or properties until measured. Instead, they exist in a fuzzy cloud of probabilities described by a mathematical entity called the wave function. This wave function evolves smoothly and deterministically until someone looks. Upon observation, the wave function collapses and the particle's properties become definite. But no one has been able to clearly explain how or why this collapse happens, or what it even means for something to be observed. Hooft finds this unsatisfying. He believes that a truly deterministic theory, one that doesn't rely on wave function collapse or intrinsic randomness, should underlie quantum mechanics. To him, quantum physics might not be the fundamental layer of nature at all. It could be an emergent phenomenon, like temperature is in thermodynamics, real, measurable, and incredibly useful, but not the full story. This places Tay Hooft in a minority among physicists today, but he's far from alone in raising the alarm. The idea that quantum mechanics may be incomplete dates back to Einstein himself, who famously asked whether God plays dice with the universe. Einstein didn't deny quantum mechanics accuracy, but he thought it should eventually give way to a deeper, more complete theory, one that restores causality and realism. So what kind of theory is T. Hooft imagining? <laughs> he proposes that the universe might operate according to strict classical rules at the deepest level. These rules, however, might be hidden from us, much like the microscopic motion of molecules is hidden in a cup of hot coffee. What we perceive as quantum randomness and entanglement could be statistical effects emerging from a deterministic but hidden substructure. In other words, quantum mechanics might be like weather unpredictable in practice, but governed by deeper, lawful processes. To explore this idea, T. Huft has worked on models of cellular automata, computational grids where simple rules generate complex patterns over time. He suggests that if the universe behaves like a kind of cosmic automaton, then quantum behavior might arise naturally from these hidden classical processes. Probabilities wouldn't be fundamental, they'd be reflections of our ignorance. But is this more than just philosophy? Hooft and other critics of standard quantum theory face a tough challenge. Quantum mechanics works extraordinarily well. It has passed every experimental test so far. Alternative models must not only match quantum theory's success, but also explain what it cannot such as the apparent contradictions between quantum theory and general relativity, or the unresolved mystery of the quantum measurement problem. And yet, pushing back against consensus is exactly what science needs when foundations appear shaky. To Hooft is not suggesting we throw quantum mechanics away, but that we look deeper, think differently, and not be satisfied with equations that work, but don't explain why. So... Is quantum physics on the wrong track? Maybe not in its applications, but possibly in its interpretation. Gerard T. Hoof's message is not that quantum theory is wrong, but that it might be incomplete. And if he's right, the next big revolution in physics may not come from building ever larger particle colliders, but from reimagining the fabric of reality itself. The quantum foundation's paradox refers to a growing divide between the mathematical success of quantum mechanics and the lack of conceptual clarity about what it means. Nobel laureate Gerard T. Hooft 
one of the most influential theoretical physicists of our time, has publicly argued that quantum theory, despite its predictive power, is built on shaky interpretational ground. According to T. Hooft, quantum physics may be on the wrong track, not because it fails to work, but because it might not describe reality at the deepest level. T. Hooft believes quantum indeterminism and wave function collapse are artifacts of incomplete models and that underlying deterministic laws may govern what we currently call quantum randomness. It is like using weather forecasts that always work, but never knowing whether the weather is truly chaotic or just calculated using hidden rules we have not discovered yet. Gerard T. Hooft argues that the indeterminacy at the heart of quantum theory may be a symptom of missing information, not a fundamental feature of nature. He suggests that beneath the probabilistic wave functions and superpositions lies a deterministic substratum, perhaps governed by cellular automata or mathematical structures beyond current quantum formalism. This challenges mainstream interpretations that embrace fundamental randomness as the core of physical law. Hooft proposes that what we call quantum states might arise from deterministic processes governed by information loss, such that uncertainty is a practical limitation, not an ontological one. It is like seeing a coin flip as random, but only because you cannot measure the precise motion. Underneath, the coin always follows Newton's laws. At the core of T. Hooft's vision is the idea that quantum mechanics emerges from a deeper deterministic theory, potentially one involving discrete time steps and finite state systems like cellular automata. In these models, quantum superpositions and entanglement could arise from hidden but fixed microstates, which appear probabilistic only when viewed from a coarse-grained level. This resembles Bohmian mechanics but introduces even stricter determinism without relying on wave functions as primary entities. In Huft deterministic models, the Hilbert space of quantum mechanics is seen as a mathematical construct encoding averages over classical trajectories, not the actual substrate of physical reality. It is like hearing a symphony from far away, what sounds like a wave of notes may actually be the result of precisely programmed instruments playing discrete patterns. Puff's ideas resonate with broader efforts in complexity science to derive emergent phenomena from simple rules. Quantum mechanics in this view could be akin to turbulence in fluids or traffic patterns in a city. Systems that appear chaotic or probabilistic on the surface but are governed by deterministic interactions at their base including Einstein who questioned whether probability is fundamental or just a placeholder for ignorance, including Einstein who questioned whether probability is fundamental or just a placeholder for ignorance. The apparent randomness in radioactive decay could, in principle, be explained by underlying deterministic processes, much like chaotic weather patterns follow fixed equations but are sensitive to initial conditions. It is like watching a crowd from above, each person's motion seems random, but zoom in and you find clear individual motivations shaping the movement. Hooft's Hooft's challenge to quantum physics also involves deep questions about information conservation and the reversibility of time. He suggests that at the most fundamental level, information is never lost and that the universe operates as a deterministic system where everything is logically consistent and self-correcting. From this perspective, concepts like wave function collapse or superposition are merely tools of ignorance. Mathematical approximations we use because we lack access to hidden variables. Hooft argues that quantum indeterminacy may arise from information censorship, where the information needed to fully predict the outcome exists but is inaccessible due to practical or cosmic constraints. It is like a computer running a perfectly predictable program, but you can only see the screen for a split second. What looks random is simply obscured from view. From an information theoretic lens, T. Hoof's proposal reframes quantum mechanics as a statistical encoding of deterministic microstates. He suggests that quantum uncertainty may be analogous to data compression, where a loss of resolution gives rise to apparent indeterminism.
The real state of the system exists at a deeper level, but we describe it with probabilities because we cannot fully decode the underlying information. In this view, quantum entanglement does not imply non-locality or magical connections, but rather reflects shared origin points in a common deterministic evolution. Much like synchronized clocks started together, it is like watching a video in low resolution. You can only guess at the fine details, but the original film was crystal clear. If Hooft is right, quantum theory may eventually be replaced or reformulated into a more fundamental framework, possibly one that unites general relativity and quantum mechanics through deterministic logic. This could impact quantum computing, black hole thermodynamics, and our understanding of initial conditions in cosmology. It might lead to new algorithms, non-wave function-based models, and a shift in how we define particles, space-time, and information. Booth's work suggests that quantum computing could still be possible in a deterministic universe, but would be reinterpreted as simulation of complex rule sets, not manipulation of wave function probabilities. It is like finding out your quantum calculator was actually an elaborate classical machine all along, just too complex to see the gears. Hoot's views remain controversial because they go against the prevailing interpretation of quantum physics, which is backed by a century of experimental confirmation. Critics argue that his models lack direct testability or experimental support, and that they might reintroduce hidden variables that were ruled out by Bell's theorem and its experimental confirmations. Yet T. Hooft contends that the current interpretation is incomplete, not incorrect, and that future theory must dig deeper. While Bell tests appear to rule out local hidden variables, T. Hooft argues that the assumptions behind those inequalities may not apply to his models, which do not rely on conventional probabilistic reasoning. It is like being told there's no solution to a puzzle, only to discover the rules of the game were misunderstood from the start. Hooft's critique invites physicists to rethink the foundations of their most successful theory. It challenges a new generation of researchers to ask whether quantum mechanics is the final word or merely a useful chapter in a deeper story. His ideas intersect with quantum gravity, simulation theory, and digital physics, raising the possibility that the universe runs on deterministic code and that what we call randomness is only a surface-level approximation. Researchers in quantum foundations are now exploring super-determinism, causal emergence, and algorithmic ontology, concepts that echo and expand upon T. Hooft's deterministic framework. It is like peeling back the painted surface of reality and finding binary code underneath, revealing that the randomness of the world might just be complexity in disguise.